Welcome to the last module for Excel 2016. You will learn how to insert text boxes and shapes, insert images, modify object properties, and add alternative text to objects for accessibility. Nothing directs a worksheet user's attention to key information faster than an arrow or line that literally points to important data. Let's add arrows to the temperature tab, highlighting the average temperature and average ice levels we calculated. In the Insert menu, in the Illustrations section, click the Shapes button. Choose the block down arrow for emphasis. Draw it into column N, pointing towards average temperature. Drag the corners to make the arrow as big or as small as you'd like. You can change the rotation of any shape with the mouse using the rotation handle that appears just outside the shape, above the top side handle. If you created a large arrow, pull the arrow down so you can see the rotation handle. Rotate the arrow to the right and position it above the column title. Copy the arrow and paste it, moving it above the average ice levels column. To highlight this section of the spreadsheet even further, insert a rectangle above the arrows. Type averages. Notice how the text automatically types inside the box. When graphics overlap, their stacking order is determined by default, by the order in which they were drawn or inserted. By inserting the arrow first, then the rectangle, the rectangle shows up on the top of the arrows. If you want to change this stacking order, use the Arrange Group of Tools on the Drawing Tools Format tab. With the rectangle still highlighted, click the arrow next to the Send Backwards button and choose Send to Back. This doesn't look quite right for our image. Now click on the Bring Forward button. Notice how you have to click on it a few times to come all the way forward. Let's also insert a text box to describe our findings. In the Insert menu, click the Text button and then Text Box. Draw a small box starting in column Q. In this box, type a summary of your findings, such as the average temperature in Antarctica rose 2 degrees between 1983 and 2015. The average ice level also rose slightly. With the text box selected, go to the Drawing Tools menu. In the Shape Styles section, you can format your text box either through themes or by selecting individual properties. Click Shape Outline and choose the same yellow as the arrows. Adding photos is easy in Excel. First, insert a new spreadsheet. Click Online Pictures on the Insert menu. This pulls up a Bing search box showing only Creative Commons options first. Search Antarctica. Choose the first picture and click Insert. This map gives a visualization for the temperature and ice levels data that we've been working with so far. Name this worksheet tab Map. Let's say you want to change the image color or effects. With the picture selected, navigate to Picture Tools, Format menu. Here you can correct the color if needed, using the Corrections button, change the color, tone, and recolor using the color button, as well as add effects to the picture found in the Artistic Effects button. Try making the picture black. You could also apply a style to the image, such as a border, using the Picture Style menu. To return the picture back to normal, click Reset Picture. You can further change the properties of the picture by right-clicking on the picture and selecting Size and Properties. The Format Picture pane on the right pops up. Let's reduce the size of the picture so it is easily visible on a laptop screen. 
Reduce the height by clicking the down arrow in the height box. Alternatively, you can type a number into the box, such as 5. As you change the height, the width automatically reduces as well. This is because the lock aspect ratio is checked. Take a moment to explore this sidebar. It includes all of the tools that are located on the Picture Tools Format tab on the ribbon. When we run the Accessibility Checker, which you learned about in Module 5, an error comes up saying that we are missing alternative text in Chart 1, as well as the arrows we inserted earlier. Alternative text for images and other objects is very important for people who can't see the screen. Let's add alternative text to the chart. Navigate to the Average Temperature and Ice Levels chart. Right-click the picture in the top left corner and select Format Chart Area on the shortcut menu. In the Format Chart Area pane that displays on the right side of the worksheet, click on the Size and Properties box. Scroll down if necessary, and then click Alt Text. Excel displays two text boxes, Title and Description. Use these options to specify what is read aloud to describe the object. In the Title box, type Average Temperature versus Ice Levels from 1983 to 2015. In the Description box, type this chart shows the comparison between the average temperature and ice levels in Antarctica. Average temperature rose slightly over the time period, whereas ice levels stayed roughly the same. Click the X in the top right corner to close the task pane. This is the end of your Microsoft Office Specialist Academy course for Excel. To prepare for your exam, Think of a topic that interests you, create a new spreadsheet, and practice. Use the Objective Domains PDF as your checklist. There are also click-through tutorials in this course for additional practice.